So since the last time we got our shipment of metal, we've added this 5 inch diameter tube uh, on the back. We just uh, put it up against these uh, these four swing arm brackets and uh, drew a circle, cut it out, uh, which took a lot longer than you'd think. Uh, slid this into it, made sure it was all 90 degrees, all right angled, everything, and then we just welded it up all over the place, inside, outside. Um, and then we did a little bit to the front. I uh, cut this, uh, these rectangular tubes. Uh, this came in the last shipment. Uh, this is a two by three, and this is one and a half by three. So the large tube gets mounted to the space tube, um, and the entire front uh, assembly of this bike comes off of just this tube. So we, we got this welded up all over the place, just like the back tube. Um, and then this is our base tube, which has another tube of the same size. This is another one and a half by three that goes out just to support the base of that uh, swing arm. And then we just cut another piece of that five inch tube. This is four and a quarter inches in um, length. And what's going to go in there, that's going to be where the uh, flange is. Rotate around. So, the, this is going to be the pivot point for the bike where the suspension acts from and everything. So, we have these. These are some aluminum discs. We also have steel discs, which are a little smaller. And what they're going to do is we're going to have them cut down just a little bit. So, instead of just matching up like right here, because right now this is five inches in diameter and this is five inches in diameter. So, right now they just don't go in. Right. But we're going to have them cut down by a quarter of an inch. So, that's one eighth of an inch on each side, which is just more than the thickness of this metal by five thousandths. And uh, so, total, we'll have one one hundredth of an inch uh, uh, play, I guess you could say. And so, this will slide into there and we'll bolt it in. And through that, we'll run a shaft, which will just come out of this end and we'll be able to mount our front here and they'll be able to pivot on that point. Uh, we're also going to use these to uh, get. Uh, to run our jack shaft through this back tube, this, they'll slide into there, so that's kind of what we like in there. And uh, we'll have pillow block bearings, which go kind of, or no, these, this is a pillow block. We're going to have flanges, which kind of mount kind of like that on it, instead of this pillow block, which mounts like that. We mount it like that, so we'll have a shaft that comes off of this one, um, runs through the, another uh, bearing on this one, and so that's how we're going to transmit power through this tube because we'll have a sprocket chain coming from here to a sprocket there uh, which spins this shaft which is on the flanges mounted to that and then a sprocket that comes out here has holes here and we're going to uh, send the chain out to the back so in the next shipment of metal coming I have the tubes to go from here to the back and from the back to the wheel and then the uh, tube that pivots up there, tube that comes off the pivot up there, and the tube that comes off of that. So there's lots of tubing coming that's going to go in the front, and then we're gonna we're gonna have most of the stuff here once our flanges come. Right, right now we just have our pillow blocks, which will be used for the jack shaft up here and up here. Um, once the flanges come, we'll be able to do a lot of work with the uh, drivetrain and start getting the actual setup so we can get our wheels and make this thing actually look like something other than art.